Welcome to Unit Circle Survival Guide. In this video, we will calculate an exact value using the SARC method, and we want to find the cosecant of 2 pi over 3. So here's our template. S, sketch the angle. A, ASTC, to find the sine of our final answer. R, for reference triangle and coordinates. And C, for calculate. So let's first start by sketching our angle, 2 pi over 3. So starting in the initial position, of course, is 0. And we know if we rotated a half rotation, we would be to pi. I think it's helpful to rewrite pi as 3 pi over 3 so that you can get a better idea of which quadrant 2 pi over 3 is in. You've basically broken a half circle or a half rotation into three parts. So you'd have pi over 3 in the first, and 2 pi over 3 in the second. So there's the terminal side of our angle. And a quick sketch to show you how we got there. All right, so now that we've done that, we can move on to step two and use ASTC, which is just a quick abbreviation or an acronym, to help us know which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. So in the first, all are positive. In the second, which is the one we're concerned about, sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive. So let's go ahead and mark ours is going to be positive here because we're trying to find the cosecant. And to finish it out, tangent and cotangent are positive in the third, cosine and secant in the fourth. Okay, so let's mark that our final answer is going to be positive. All right, now we can move on to our reference triangle and figure out which coordinates we'll be working with for our calculation. So a reference angle is simply how much rotation you need from the terminal side to the x-axis. So we know we rotated 2 pi over 3, and to get to 3 pi over 3, that's simply another pi over 3 rotation, or a 60 degree angle if we're thinking about our special right triangle. All right, that's the 60, 30, 90 special right triangle. And we know that the ordered pair that goes with that will be 1 half, because the horizontal leg is the shorter leg right here. And then the longer leg is our vertical leg, so root 3 over 2. So we'll use these coordinates in step four to calculate our exact value. And again, we already know our final answer is positive. So we're just going to work here with these positive first quadrant coordinates for any calculation. So we know that the cosecant of an angle is found on the unit circle simply with one over y, because we know sine on the unit circle is the y coordinate. All right, so all we need to do is find the reciprocal of our y coordinate. So take root 3 over 2 and flip it. So it's 2 over square root 3. And now, of course, we're not going to leave it like this unsimplified with a radical in the denominator. So we simply need to rationalize or multiply this term by square root of 3 over square root of 3. So our final answer will be 2 root 3 over 3. And of course, we've already said that it's positive. Eventually, you'll get to the point where you know that 2 over square root 3 quickly rationalizes to 2 root 3 over 3. That'll be something that once you've done it enough times, you'll just know you won't have to actually show the calculation for rationalizing. Be sure to check the video description for links to other worked examples of finding exact values using the SARC method. Thank you so much for watching.